said, I'm back with another bee episode. The bees are moving quite a bit today. I mean, they're bringing back a bunch of pollen right now. This hive over here that we bought, I don't see any, I don't see any movement. All right, I'm going to show you what's going on. I'm going to collect some honey. That is the last time I collect. And I'm probably going to put some frames of uh, bees in here. I'll show you how it goes. One of our hives was just too weak. And they flew, they flew off or they died either one. So the moth, I haven't had time to check them a lot, but the moth have laid its larva inside the, the frames. So I'm just going to go ahead and redo this whole entire hive. I'll show you what I do. I'll take from the other hives and make another hive. Clean it out, clean it off. That's why it's always good to have more than one hive. So I can easily make another hive. And it's mid-July, so they'll have plenty of time to bounce back and recover before fall gets here. So all these frames I can just go ahead and take back. Clean them off. You're ready to go again. Definitely won't need the queen excluder no more. I'm going to go ahead and start this one all over again. Go ahead and put that like that. Super, I won't need anymore. On some of these frames, as you can see, I'll just clean them like this. And that'll get all the moth stuff out. It'll be a clean frame for them to use as well. like this. Clean it out. This hive's been suffering for a while now. I should have moved some over but I didn't really want to because it's not a good hive. And I'd rather take some bees from a good hive and have their genetics instead of this these bees that had bad genetics. They just came from a bad a bad queen, basically. You want some good ones. So I'm gonna put a couple frames in there. You're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to rob probably these two hives. My big one and the one next to it. As you can see, they're doing really good. I'm already gonna rob them from honey already. As you can see, this hive right here is just booming a little too hard. So to slow down the boom, I'm going to rob from it. I'm going to rob frames of bees out of it to put in this hive I've been working on right now. Also, I'm going to rob honey. And this will be the last time I do it, so they'll have the rest. Go ahead and dump some in there. I already robbed them once this year. They're doing so good. And 
look at that. Their cones are so much bigger than the other ones. I'll probably give them this frame. As you can see, there's some bees on it, but there's not really that much on it. So I'll give them that frame of honey. That's their honey supply. They're just doing so good. This one actually feels solid. Feels heavy. See why it feels heavy. It's full. Full of honey. As you see, I got my queen excluder on it. So I'm gonna do on the other hive next to it. I'm gonna sweep the bees off in it. They capped it the whole entire thing. Now, run over here to my box. Okay, took a frame of honey in the, out of there that was kind of partial. Put it right there. You can see they're they're working on it. Took a full frame of honey out of there, and I put it in my box over there. This is where I keep all my honey away from the bees and put the lid on it. Now, you see. These guys probably have a lot of honey in here. I don't want to take it all. But I'm going to take most of it. This is just a bunch of bees doing work. This next one looks like a full frame of honey. We'll see. Yeah, pretty much. Another full frame. These guys are probably scoop back in their box. We got quite a bit of frames that are full of honey. I mean, quite a bit. Another full frame. Man, another full frame. Just one after another on this hive. As you can see, this hive is booming pretty hard. There's a lot of going on and down in there. Watch the side. Clean some frames off. Took some frames. Left them some frames. And also gave a frame over here. And knock some of the bees off. Now, I'm gonna have to go down to the next box and get some brood.
take them off in the other hive. Set it down for a second. And look for a good brood frame. Otherwise, it also helps for them to not swarm. another frame over here where I took out from. You can see it have a lot of brood on it. Now that looks like your typical nuke. Right here. I got one heavy brood, two light brood to have a little other stuff. Pollen, honey and then one honey frame. Brood, 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 honey, empty frame, empty frame, empty frame. And this is KC2 right now. I'm gonna name it KC2 because the other hive completely died off and I just took from KC. So, frames of deep honey out of them and I got a new KC house piece of wax. So now they don't really have a colony no more. They are just their own thing. That right there is how you start your own hive. slow down the growth of this one. Alright. I'm just going to rob some more honey for today and rob these two guys over here. 
I'll show you guys in a little bit how much honey I got. <laughs> 